You're thinking about moving to Seattle, Washington, maybe even Bellevue, Washington? Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons of living in Bellevue so that you can decide if this is a good place to relocate for your family or if you're just wanting to know more about the area, I'm gonna tell you some good things and some bad things about living here in Bellevue, Washington. Let's get after it. Hey, if this is your first time to my channel and you wanna know about moving to Seattle, Washington or the suburbs around it, then subscribe to my channel and tap that bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market in Seattle. Hi, I am Kelsey Anderson and we get contacted all the time from people just like you looking to make their move to Seattle, Washington or the suburbs around it like Bellevue and we love it. So whether you're looking to move in seven days or 70 days, get in contact with me using the information provided below and let's jump to it. So as I stated, we are talking about the good and the bad about living in Bellevue, Washington. Every city has its good parts and bad parts. Um, and this town is one of those, um, places that have a lot more kind of going for it than doesn't, but it comes with a price tag. And so that's gonna be the biggest con that we'll get into, but I wanna give you a bit more information about Bellevue if you are not very familiar. So Bellevue, Washington has a population of around 150,000 people. So a pretty large suburb. It is located just 10 miles east of the large city, Seattle, Washington, located just over the lake. You can take two different freeways, either I-90 or 520 to get from Seattle to Bellevue or vice versa. It's super easy to get into the city if you're looking to uh, work or play in Seattle, but there's plenty of things to do in Bellevue, Washington. I wanna to talk to you about some of the awards from Niche.com because it is insane how many awards Niche.com has given to Bellevue and why this is such an increasingly popular area to live in the country. Number one, an overall rating by Niche.com is just an A+. So you don't normally see that with a city, but Bellevue, Washington gets an A+, by Niche.com. It gets A's in diversity and nightlife. Um, and an A plus in education, which we'll dive into more about that in a little bit later in the video. More awards include, it's the number three city with the best public schools in America. It's number four for outdoor activities in America and number six for places to raise a family. And it's also number six for the healthiest cities in America. Um, there are many more awards on niche.com for Bellevue, but those are just the top ones um, for America. As far as how Bellevue ranks in Washington state, it's number two suburb for young professionals. It's number three for suburbs to live in and then number five for suburbs to raise a family. So so much going on here in Bellevue. Of course, it comes with a price tag, but we'll get into that later. Um, let's talk about all the awesome things about living in Bellevue before we get to the sort of the bad parts about living in Bellevue, Washington. All right, let's get after it. So the first pro about living in Bellevue, Washington is it definitely has a very strong job market. It is an integral part of the economic hub that is the Seattle metro area. It is home to Microsoft, Expedia, T-Mobile, um, and lots of other big companies call Seattle home. There are more jobs in even healthcare, finance, and retail stores. And this includes software engineering, data analysis, and other tech roles. Because you can go to Seattle to have an even bigger job market in front of you, this is a huge pro for people that are looking to work close by and they don't wanna to have to commute far because you're gonna have a ton of job options right here in Bellevue and then even more just 10 miles across the Lake Washington. The unemployment rate is just about 4%, which is really low in Bellevue, suggesting that people are able to get jobs if they are able and looking for work. Um, of course, this is also made um, possible because the jobs are really high paying. Um, so that obviously attracts more people into the job market. But 
because of the high paying jobs and all these jobs that are available, that does come with some stiff competition. So you have to be prepared for your job, have the education, have the skills necessary, but the jobs are available if you're interested and ready. The next big pro about living in Bellevue, Washington is the overall quality of life. Okay. With only living 10 miles to Seattle, you're super close to a big city. You're only 30 minutes away from the mountains. You've got lakes on either side of you, right? We've got Sammamish on the east side of Bellevue. We've got Lake Washington on that west side of Bellevue. So you've got lakes everywhere. It is literally called the city within a park because you're just surrounded by green, lush scenery everywhere. Bellevue comes with a very high standard of living. You walk around the streets and you just kind of think to yourself like, wow, this is really nice. It sort of feels a little fancy, a little bougie. Um, but if you are interested in that sort of higher standard of living, this might be a place that you want to call home. It also has a pretty low crime rate. So people say they feel pretty city living in the city of Bellevue other than sort of petty theft and things like that. One last thing is people love to have easy access to restaurants and cafes and bars and shopping and things like that. So that's definitely gonna improve the quality of life when you don't have to go far to get to those things. The third pro for living in Bellevue, Washington is the education system. Niche.com gives Bellevue an A plus rating. And I'm gonna drop some facts for you to give you a little bit better idea about what that looks like. There are 19,500 students and there's a 93% graduation rate. 79% of students are proficient in reading while 73% are proficient in math. The average SAT score is 1,360 and the average ACT score is 31. Students receiving free and reduced lunch prices is right at 18.4%. The student to teacher ratio is 19 to one. And Bellevue is also known not only for its great public school system, but also its prestigious private schools. And then Bellevue College used to be a community college, but now it's actually a four year uh, college that you can go to to reduce prices from comparing to UW or Wazoo, things like that. So this can be a great place to get a college education. And it's right here in Bellevue. So like I said, Bellevue spends lots of money on their students. They pride themselves on offering AP courses and making sure their kids graduate. In another video, I show you kind of a deep dive into the schools. So you're gonna wanna check that out for more information. But education is definitely a huge pro here in Bellevue, Washington. All right, I've already mentioned the quality of life, but I wanna have my fourth pro be things to do because there's just a lot of things to do within a short distance right here in Bellevue, okay? There are tons of parks, okay? There are 97 parks in Bellevue. Bellevue is only an area of 32 square miles and there are 97 parks. That ranges from small little parks, maybe in neighborhoods to large parks like the downtown park, which covers 21 square miles. There are also tons of trails here in Bellevue, Washington. Over a hundred miles of trails surround the city. Could be for biking, it could be for walking, it could be for rollerblading, just all sorts of things like that to get outdoor and enjoy that green lush scenery that surrounds the city. There's also a good amount of arts and culture built right into the city. You don't have to go into Seattle um, to get to an art museum. Bellevue Art Museum is hugely popular for um, contemporary art, craft, and design. You also have Maidenbauer Center, which has performing arts, um, some plays, you know, recitals, things like that, more locally based performances there. And then there's also sculptures throughout the city. There's even this like cool whale in downtown park. And so Bellevue definitely takes their art scene pretty seriously as well. If playing on the lake is something of interest of you, well, you've got lakes on the flanks of both sides, east and west of Bellevue. So if you're interested in boating or paddleboarding or kayaking or canoeing or swimming or things like that, that is located literally probably within a 10 minute drive or less of wherever you live in Bellevue. 
You also don't have to go into the city if you want to eat or go to a coffee shop or go to a bar. All those things are located mainly concentrated in downtown Bellevue, but you've got other malls like Crossroads Mall and Factoria Mall and other strip malls throughout the city and in smaller neighborhoods to bring that sort of um, entertainment and places to gather really close to you. You don't have to go into Seattle. Like I said, you've got that in Bellevue, tons of things you can eat um, and just a great place to gather with your friends. So that's a huge plus. And again, lots of things to do here in Bellevue without having to leave the city border. The final pro I'm gonna hit you with today is the cultural diversity. Um, according to the Census Bureau, the population um, has changed and the population is continuing to change. Um, the projections over the next few years are going to continue to become more and more diversified. This is super important and a huge reason that the area of Bellevue is growing so much in population is because so many cultures are coming together, wanting to live in the same space, work together, have fun together, and all the things. So I'm going to give you the breakdown right now. 50% of the Bellevue population is white, 34% is Asian, 7% is Hispanic and 6% is multi-ethnic or other. I think this is super important because in any town, you gotta have different cultures, different languages spoken, um, just sort of different backgrounds so that people can learn how to coexist with each other and show kindness and all the things. So hugely important and a huge pro of Bellevue is it's growing diversity and it's current diversity now, but just the way that it's the trend that it's going now is just awesome. With all the pros of living in Bellevue, and yes, there are a lot, there are some cons that I do want to address so that you can make the best decision for your family. The number one con of living in Bellevue, as I've mentioned and alluded to, is definitely the cost of living. Okay, the median home price in Bellevue, Washington is 1.3 million, but most of the homes on the market for sale, especially if you want three or four bedrooms, are well over $2 million. So that can be a really, really, really big selling point, no pun intended, about whether you're gonna live in Bellevue or you're gonna live in another suburb like Renton, Kent or Redmond or Issaquah, places that have lower cost of living. A neighboring city like Renton, which is directly south of Bellevue, has a median home price of 676,000. And Redmond, which is directly north of Bellevue, one of the cities that's north of Bellevue is 950,000. Then over to the east, you've got Issaquah, which a median home value is 850,000. And then Seattle with a median home price of 800,000. So when you're comparing to these areas, Bellevue definitely is way more expensive to buy a house. And if you're thinking about sort of a neighborhood that just has that higher standard of living, um, the restaurants might cost a little bit more. Getting your hair cut there might cost a little bit more. Just things like that. It's going to be generally more expensive for businesses to have their properties in Bellevue. And so that cost is going to be relayed to the consumer or the resident. So you have to consider the cost of living in Bellevue, the cost of buying a home in Bellevue. All those things are going to be drawbacks for many families that just don't have that strong buying power. Another con of living in Bellevue is just the growing traffic situation. 405 is a major highway that runs right through downtown Bellevue and it is slow. Over the last 10 years, it's gotten even slower. You think, oh, it's 1 p.m. There's no way there could be traffic on the freeway. This is not Seattle. Well, there's probably traffic on 405 in Bellevue at 1 p.m. on any given day. Okay, it could be a weekday, it could be a weekend. There's just a lot of traffic. So that has just come from more people moving to the area. And 405 is a really important freeway because it takes people up north to connect to 520, which will take them into Seattle or east to Issaquah. And then, or if you go south on 405, you're connecting to I-90, um, which can also take you east, but it can also take you um, over west to Seattle. So people are using 405 to connect either to their homes or to work, um, but it's just very crowded. So you have to take that into consideration. Um, there is slower traffic because of that highway. 
downtown because of the construction of the office space and other apartments and condos going in there's also a lot of construction traffic so because these skyscrapers were not here that many years ago in downtown well they are now lots of people live downtown more people work downtown and all those things come with traffic so kind of a downside but there you have it my third con of living in Bellevue, Washington is the public transportation system. King County Metro does have buses and Sound Transit has a light, a link light rail system that works, but people complain that these transportation avenues do not reach all the residents in the city and they might not be operating as well on nights and weekends. And it's also just hard to get to. So people complain from their home where these stations are located. It's hard to get there. Um, it's just not super reliable all the time. So um, Bellevue does say it is working on its systems. They try, they want to optimize and make it easier for people to access these um, places. As more and more people come into living in Bellevue, it's going to be massively important for them to upgrade the system so people don't feel the need to have a car. But as of right now, most residents feel they need to have a car to get around um, because the public transportation system just isn't where it should be. Number four con of living in Bellevue, Washington is a limited nightlife. Now, this is probably going to be a con for most suburbs around Seattle because it's not a major city. But as far as other suburbs are concerned, I would say Bellevue has a pretty good nightlife situation, but it's not Seattle. So it does have restaurants, it has art galleries, it has, you know, art performances and plays and bars and things like that. And there's some new bars going in that have some interesting things, but it's just not Seattle. So if you're looking for that like nightlife that's open until, you know, 2 a.m. and you want that just down the street, well, you're going to want to go live in Seattle or a more metropolitan area because Bellevue just doesn't have that expansive of a nightlife infrastructure. The fifth con is definitely just the city being crowded, kind of like what I talked about when I was speaking about the congestion um, and the traffic on the roadways is just gonna be crowded. Uh, Bellevue, Washington is a part of the larger Seattle metro area and these areas are just growing. Um, it is mentioned as one of the top growing cities in the entire country alongside Phoenix and Denver. And it's because of the job market and all these other reasons why people move to Seattle. We don't have the big, crazy natural disasters. And with that, right, there's just gonna be more people moving here. So it does make for a more crowded city and you might have to stand in longer lines waiting for things. You might have more competitions with jobs. You might have to be in more traffic, things like that. But crowding is definitely an issue in a growing city. So. There you have it, five pros and five cons of living in Bellevue, Washington. I hope this video was of value to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap that bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market in Seattle, Washington. I had fun today. See you around town or in the next video. See ya.